Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our virtual crib service. We would have loved to have been able to put on this service live in church, but unfortunately that was not possible due to COVID-19 restrictions. Lawrence and Margaret, who have helped lead the crib service for several years now, will lead us this afternoon, both from the church and from their home. They'll be helped by the children from St John's School, who have recorded pieces for us and who have also shared scenes from their nativity play with us. So now it's over to Lawrence and Margaret. Hello everyone. Hello. Good to see you. Glad to know you're there. It's great to be with you. Thanks for that introduction, Evan. Don't worry, folks. Evan is going to come back during the service a couple of times, so you'll see him again. But there's just one thing I'd like to say before we, before we start. There's lots of exciting things coming up. And it may help be helpful if during the service there's something that strikes you particularly, might be a word, a phrase, a picture. It's perhaps a good idea to try and hold on to that image and because it may help you through Christmas and in the days to come. OK, so here we go. Because we haven't been able to have Christingle this year, we thought it might be nice if we started the service with the hymn Sing Christingle, just to remind us all of what the Christingle's all about when we are able to have it. So here's our first hymn, Sing Christingle. We shall be welcoming Reverend Pat, who will say a prayer as we light the Advent candles. Every Sunday in Advent, we've lit a candle. First Sunday of Advent for the Patriarchs, second Sunday for the Prophets, third Sunday for John the Baptist, and the fourth Sunday for Mary, Mother of Jesus. On the candles, on our virtual lighting, we have hope joy, love and peace. So we hope we, you find that helpful. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us as we light the candles of this wreath. May the wreath and its light be a sign of Christ's promise to bring us salvation. Mm. 
May he come quickly and not delay. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for that, Pat. Now it's time for our second hymn, The Carol Away in a Manger. This is the story of Jesus' birth and the first Christmas. One day, a woman named Mary was at home when the angel Gabriel visited her. Gabriel told her, Mary, do not be afraid. God loves you and you will give birth to a baby boy named Jesus. He will be the Son of God. Now Mary was supposed to be married to a man named Joseph and she told Joseph that she would give birth to God's son. Joseph was not sure how this could be, but an angel appeared to him in a dream and told him not to be afraid. So Joseph and Mary were married. Soon an order came from Caesar Augustus that all people had to return to their hometown to be taxed. Joseph and Mary travelled to Bethlehem, where Joseph had been born. When they arrived in Bethlehem, Joseph and Mary were very tired, but there was no room in any inn. One kind innkeeper told Joseph that he and Mary could stay in the stable behind his inn. It was there that Mary gave birth to a baby boy. She named him Jesus. Mary wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a manger. That night, shepherds were in the field watching over their sheep. An angel appeared in the sky and said, Fear not, I bring you good news. Christ has been born. You will find the baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. 
The shepherds rushed to the stable and found Mary, Joseph and the baby Jesus. They praised God and then returned to their fields with their sheep. Soon after, wise men from the east started following a star in the sky which would lead them to the newborn king. The star led them to Bethlehem and they found Mary, Joseph and Jesus. They bowed down to worship the baby. They gave Jesus many gifts, including gold, frankincense and myrrh. Then they returned home. Jesus grew up in a town called Nazareth and as he grew older, many people began to follow his teachings. Later followers started celebrating Jesus' birthday on December the 25th and called it Christmas. Today, we continue to celebrate Jesus' birth every Christmas, giving thanks for God's love and for his Son. We are now delighted to welcome the children of St John's School who are going to bring our nativity figures into the church's crib and show us a very little short nativity of their own and as that happens we shall hear the beautiful carol joy to the world <laughs> Thank you for that, children. It was lovely. Thank you. And now we welcome Evan again as he blesses our crib for us. God of every nation and people. From the very beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for a saviour was great, you sent your son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives, he brings joy and peace, justice, mercy and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May it remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise our thoughts to him, who is God with us and Saviour of all, and who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Evan. And now we're going to sing the carol, We Three Kings, as we look forward to January the 6th, which is Epiphany, the Feast of the Kings.
So we now move on to a time of prayer. And we're just showing you the manger with the ribbons that we've used in other years. We're not able to come to church to bring our own ribbons to the manger this year. But we can, in our imagination, remember doing that. And we can look at those ribbons and maybe pick out a ribbon and say, that's mine. And I'm bringing my special prayer to Jesus today. In the meantime, we have some new prayers which we'd like to share with you. Let us all pray to Jesus our Saviour. Jesus, whose mother was Mary, bless our families. Jesus, Jesus Saviour, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Jesus, who was cared for by Joseph, his stepfather, bless our families. Jesus, Jesus Saviour, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Christ, born in a stable, give courage to all who are homeless. Jesus, Jesus Saviour, hear, hear our prayer. Christ, worshipped by the shepherds, give peace on earth. Jesus, Jesus Saviour, hear, hear our, our prayer. Christ, whose birth was announced by the angels. Help us to share your good news with the world. Jesus, Jesus Saviour, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Christ, whose light filled the manger, give the light of your hope and life to all who need them. Jesus, Jesus Saviour, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Jesus, Saviour, Child of Mary, you know us and love us. You share our lives and hear our prayer. Glory to you forever. Amen. Lord, this Christmas Eve we thank you that we are reminded through the story of the stable, donkeys, shepherds and kings, that you sent your son to be with us here on earth. Even in these dark COVID times, we recognise through Jesus' life the joy of love and hope that he brought to our world. Lord, help us to share that love amongst those who are lonely or sick this Christmas and help us to fill our world with the joy of the baby's birth this Christmas and in the weeks and months ahead. Amen. And now we bring all our prayers together as we say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now with thanks to Paul Reed and the staff at St John's School, we're delighted to welcome children from the school who are going to sing some of their Christmas songs for us.
very much for that, children. That was lovely. And now we'll sing the next carol. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So let's join in with Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Reverend Evan back again to bless us with a special Christmas blessing. Evan. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be ours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Thank you for that, Evan. Thank you, Pat, for your contribution. Thank you to everybody who's helped us with the service this year. Particularly thanks also to Paul Reed and the staff at St John's School and to all the children who've made this service such a joyous and happy occasion. So all that remains now is for us to thank you for being with us and to wish you all a very happy and blessed Christmas and every good wish for 2021. And we're going to leave the last words to the children to sing us out. So Bye. Goodbye. Happy Christmas. Bye.